another week, and no mo ass. What is going on? Today we're talking about AMC, looking at the chart once again. Are my call options going to print on AMC? Breaking it down right here in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. What's going on guys, Patrick here. I've been all over the place. I've been busy, I've been in the metaverse, I've been back here in Hawaii, I've been out surfing, I've been doing the lava runner stuff. We've just been going to the moon nonstop, just constantly 24 hours a day. I can't even remember the last time that I slept for more than two or three hours. But hey, you know, I'll sleep when I'm dead one day, so I'm not worried about it. Let's dive into the chart here, talk about AMC and see what is going on right here let's let's get into it before we dive into the chart do me one big favor if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content that i'm putting out let me know down in the comments you know what can i do differently what do you guys want to see me talk about hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the like button let's dive into the chart right here at amc so the thing about this chart right now is if you look these yellow lines well we drew these like months ago and well we're still following the trend right now it's kind of an interesting thing going on right now if you look at the chart what do you guys see do you see something does anybody if you're watching this video what do you see let's let's take a second to think about it it's kind of like blues clues what do you see on the chart right now on amc anybody anybody i'm sure you guys have noticed it we're getting a higher low right so we had this low here and then the next low this kind of pivot this turn at that $38 level being a higher low. And obviously that means, you know, like in general, it's kind of like, okay, this is the low, the low, the low. And the higher that low pushes up in the chart, it kind of is showing us that we're having that bullish price action and we're ha something is going on, right? Because instead of AMC just pulling back down here to the $32 level again, we're establishing that people are willing to buy at that $38 level. Now, if we kind of zoom out again, we can obviously see the bigger picture here is still, you know, that that yellow line there, the overall trend is still holding us down. It'll be very interesting to see. I'm kind of, I'm thinking like, not to like, not to, you know, jinx myself here, but I'm thinking out loud, right? I'm thinking out loud here. If this higher low holds, obviously, and we can push, this could be, you know, the opportunity for the next big breakout here. But there's also this idea that maybe that's too easy, right? And that's one thing I think about with AMC. A lot of people think too easy in the sense of like, they just think like, okay, tomorrow is going to be the MOAS. Like, it's just going to happen like that. And like I've talked about in multiple videos, I really believe that it's kind of kind of just come out of nowhere. Once people really, and I know, like really get, I wouldn't say get desperate, but they get to a point where everyone's like, oh man, it, it might, it might never come, you know, like. We might never get Moas. It might just, it never, it just is never going to happen. And I think like right now we're still at a point where people are like very kind of confident and bullish. But, you know, if you look at some of the hottest big moves in stocks and you look at some of the stocks that have really had massive squeezes, a lot of those squeezes have come after, you know, the majority of people kind of gave up, you know, they, they just lost hope. And at that point, people start selling. And then once we get that bullish move and it starts going back to the moon, all those people that got out for a loss are now sitting there going, well, I'm getting back in because I, I'm going to be a part of this Moass one way or another. And they're totally fine because they end up chasing it. You know, they end up chasing it and chasing it and it goes to the moon. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at it right now is, you know, history always kind of repeats itself and the emotion, the human emotion around this as well kind of also is in play, right? Because... At the end of the day, this is a short squeeze type of play. And a lot of that is a lot of the price action. A lot of the movement here is going to come from FOMO. It's going to come from emotion of people wanting to like, oh, I, I got to get back in. You know, if they sold or they got out lately for a loss or a profit or vice versa, they kind of have that FOMO once the MOAS finally happens. And looking at this chart right now, the next resistance really is that 41 to $44 level on this overall trend now we did get a little push above that recently that that overall trend to the downside but that's one thing you know with these trends is obviously you know there's wiggle room here in, in terms of these lines like these lines are obviously not exact you know i mean i could go like that and kind of fix this line now but you can see it's still kind of you know in general that line of support resistance trends things like that it's only giving us a guide like that's not saying like oh my gosh 
the price is going to stop right there. Like it's not going to go any higher because there's a yellow line on Patrick's chart, but it's giving us an idea. Like we're getting lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. We were basing out there at the $32 level and now we're getting this higher low. So the question is, can AMC start to squeeze going into December? And then like I kind of predicted here, the end of December having the MOAS. The key level is really at the end of the day for me, looking at this, you know, you got $45 as a key resistance level. You've got that $52 level as resistance. And then you've got that $64 level as resistance. And that's, those are some pretty serious resistance for a couple of reasons, not just because, again, because we're putting lines on a chart, because you gotta think, okay, people that bought here at the $40 level, if AMC pushes to 60, are they going to think like, man, I might just wanna take profit? Because during this whole time here, they've been down in a loss. Cause you know, like let's say if you bought at 52 and you held down here at the $32 level, you lot, you're down 35%. If you're still holding, let's just say you're holding right now and the price is around $40, you're down 24%. So the people that bought here at the $50 level, they're down 20% right now. So if the price of AMC gets back to their break even point or they get up 20% in profit, they might be more inclined to take profit over the people who bought at 32 because people who bought at 32, I mean, they're already up, you know, 27% at this kind of level here, or about 15%. But if we push up here to the 50, let's say $52 level, that's a 50% return for everybody who bought at the $32 level. And then if we go up here to the highs, I mean, you're looking at about a hundred percent return. So there is that, you know, idea that people will start to take profit at some point, even though, you know, the vast majority of AMC apes believe that AMC is going to go to a thousand dollars. There will obviously be that kind of, you know, people taking profit, people FOMOing into it. And then that's the human aspect, right? The human emotion to that move. And here we are today at $40. It's Friday. I'm impressed because this is probably one of the first Fridays that AMC has been green before uh, that late, like I feel like lately we've seen. So, you know, at the end of the day, the question really comes down to is what happens now with this higher low? And obviously we're going to find out in the next few weeks if we can get a MOAS, but here we are another week, another no MOAS, another no squeeze to a thousand dollars on AMC. It's very interesting. And especially, you know, seeing all of the human kind of interaction with this stock and people talking about it their overall ideas and things like that. And at the end of the day, you know, this is just another guy. Just I'm just a normal guy out here trying to live the dream on YouTube, making the videos. And that's the way I look at it right now. You know, there's key resistance. There's an overall downtrend. We know that there's kind of a very good support area at that 34 to $32 level right now. And we're kind of like right there, we're right there, baby. This thing could go to the moon or well, it just could fizzle out here. It'll be kind of very interesting to see. Like I said, I have call options that expire at the end of December on AMC and I would I would really like for AMC to go to $1000 because then I would make I'd make a lot of money. Let's just say like I would make so much money on those call options. An insane amount of money. I would make so much I, yeah, I can't even I I'm not even going to I'm not going to get excited for that idea of AMC going to $1000, you know, cuz I have call options, but like because every time I get excited about like getting rich off of a play or a stock or things like that, it normally doesn't work out in that fashion. So there it is. Like I said, I'm not trying to be a bear here. I'm not trying to say the AMC can't go higher. I'm just basically sharing my opinion of what I believe will happen with AMC at this point. And that's all I can really do, right? I just can share my opinion with you guys out there that maybe you care, maybe you don't. It is what it is. So if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys later on.